I had a question today about abdominal ischemia, so I thought I'd do a really quick video about this thankfully quite rare condition where you may get, for example, the mesenteric artery becoming blocked by a blood clot or by a spasm, for example, re uh, leading to reduced blood supply to the bowel, either the small bowel or the large bowel. How might it present? Generally, the classic presentation is pain plus, 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 but not correlating amounts of tenderness. So a lot of pain, but not always the most tender abdomen, maybe no tenderness at all, or minimal amounts of tenderness, but pain plus, plus, plus. So think about it in that combination. They can be having other things like vomiting and bloody stool. They may be in their shock phase. Again, it depends on the acuteness of the presentation and also the part of the bowel affected. Some key things to think about in terms of risk factors, arrhythmias, things like atrial fibrillation, puts you at high risk of mesenteric ischemia. Anyone with very high cardiovascular disease risk factors, think about it if someone comes in with pain and particularly with this reduced amount of tenderness when you examine. They'll probably need to go on and have things like angiography, try and look at the blood supply as it flows through, or things like CT abdomen. It's not the easiest condition to diagnose. And if diagnosed, then things to open up the blood supply again are probably needed. Things like angioplasty, stenting, and maybe open surgery as well. Again, it depends on things like the acuteness of the presentation and lots of other facts as well. But abdominal ischemia, think about it in medical exams with that classic presentation of pain plus, 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 but not necessarily a super tender abdomen. Hope this helps much more like this on our AKT and our PLAB online training, audio training, and face-to-face -face courses. Hashtag can pass, will pass. Hashtag I went with Aurora.